and welcome back to TechStack channel. Today we'll try to explore one more challenge, and this challenge is uh, number seventeen. So this is uh, an account payable bot. So develop an account payable bot downloading the zip file. So this is uh, my invoice portal. So <clears throat> from this portal we need to download those invoices. So already I have downloaded. So this is the invoices are available. So this is available in zip format. So we need to extract that zip, and we need to come i mean extract the, all the invoices from here so let me check what type of details so from each invoice attachment submit so here have the details so invoice number invoice date invoice total quantity description and total are there so we need to add this uh, web browser and later we need to update that file so this should be in the format of jpg or png or uh, these are the formats which are available i mean these are the formats which it's allow to upload the file so once this is done just click on this uh, upload button and click on the submit button moving back to the ui plus studio so first of all i will go to the tax form manager and here i will create uh, the group so here i will call group invoice invoices and at that i need to create the document type so these are all available in some png format or a50 format huh? so i will just make it as images so under this images i will create the fields so let me go to here so invoice number one is field let me take invoice number and i will make it as here text okay and next what I need is there so invoice date so let me create invoice date invoice date it should be the field type is date and what is the next invoice total invoice total and this is the format of number so let me open the document as well so yeah it's fine no problem invoice total is available in the number and next what is there <coughs> so quantity description and total price uh, these all available in the format of table so i'm creating one more field which is called table and here the type is table so once it's done i need to add the column names so the first column is quantity let me check what is there available quantity description total price quantity is in number format and next description this is in the text and the final one is total price so total price this is in number format again so these are the three fields which we need to update the table so here we can see this subtotal is nothing but as a total price so oh, let me close this and the tax form has been created successfully so we can see the fields and the documents as well here the first step so we need to go to the browser and we need to launch the particular website and we need to download the invoice so for that i'm taking open browser activity and here my browser is browser type is chrome let me take this url this is my url so i have downloaded this so once okay let me put it in double quotes once this is done so i need to just click okay just i'm clicking that activity instead of this so once this is done i need to just click on the one moment that is so i need to click on the download invoices so it will just click there and it will download the invoices so once this is done so we need to unzip that files so now here i need to take unzip so extract or unzip here i updated the paths so these are the my paths so now what i will do just i will close this one and i will just run this so whether it is able to extract that uh, sample invoices or not 
So just I will run after only these two steps. So it's open that URL and downloaded the invoices. And here, okay, it's completed. So we can see this sample invoices. So under this invoices, I have this data. Okay. So once these two steps is completed, then I need to take the taxonomy one. So let me take this taxonomy. Load taxonomy. So here I need to create taxonomy variable. After this, I need to take digitize. Is document sorry digitize in document and I will create some here document path. So let me I will create a document path as well in variables. And here my text is document to text and output the document object model. Document object model so this is done after that we need to take the next step is classify document scope so let me take classify document scope so here i need to update this document path and the taxonomy document text document text and document object model and classification results. I will create one more variable classification results. So this is also done. And here downside we can see the I mean we need to take the one classifier. So here I'm using the keyword uh, based classifier. Let me take okay here only is a keyword keyword based classifier panel. So let me drag and drop this. It's not moving. Keyword. Yeah. Keyword based classifier. It's there. So here I need to update this uh, file path. So the file path is nothing but as JSON file in the document understanding will available. So just take this is the keyword. Let me open file location. I will copy that part. So this is also done. If you want, you can directly select like this also. Let me update this here. So anything is fine. So here I need to take keyword. Okay, this is done. Next, we need to manage learning. So what I created here, I created as a invoices. Okay, here I will add the keyword. So let me open this document one more time, the sample documents. Here having the invoice, the name. So let me make it invoices. This is fine. Just and click on save it. And configure filter. Images is there. So just enable that checkmark on the images. Click on the same. So once this is done, classification document scope. After that, we need to take data extraction scope. So from here, I will take data extraction scope. Here, I need to update this document path and the taxonomy document type. Document text classification results of zero and document object model and results. So let me take extraction results one new variable. Okay, this is done. After this, I need to drag this drop uh, extraction activity here. So here I will use the form extractor. So this is our form extractor. So let me drag and okay, this is fine. 
so by default the endpoint and api key automatically will appear here and we need to manage the templates so just click on the create template here i need to select these images and i will make it as image invoices okay and i need to select the one of the file so let me pick file from the downloads there is a sample invoices so i taken this and rest of the things here i will uh, keep as it is click on this configure so this it will take some time to load the document here and you can read these instructions how we can uh, create those things i will just click on that okay and i need to take minimum uh, five here so i will take automation anywhere increment invoice number and i will take sold to and i will take ship to as well i will take some other three yeah this is fine so just i will add it here so once you add it it will hide it with a, some other color and we can see this this is added here so the next step is i need to take this invoice number so here i am taking this okay sorry let me take so this is my invoice number okay, custom area and this is i will add it to the invoice number okay after that invoice date so this is my invoice date and here i am selecting as the custom space i mean custom area and i need to add this to the invoice date and invoice total so let me scroll down here so this is my invoice total invoice amount is nothing but as an invoice total so let me graph this okay this is for invoice total and the final one we need to update the data table so here i will take the data table so let me drag down i will scroll a little bit up and just click on these three buttons so extract a new table so just select and i need to extract this quantity description and the amount so i will just select enter like this okay after that i will take this quantity this is for the quantity and this column is not required so i will make it as unused and description this is what the description <clears throat> and finally amount so i will update this amount so here amount is nothing but as a total price so once this is done just click on the save new table so this is done so just click on save and close this after that click on the submit button <coughs> if you want uh, edit anything here just click on the pencil icon button you can go inside and you can edit uh, as per the new requirements as per the your requirements okay just click on that close so let me check here configurator so just uh, enable this and check all this mark okay just click on that save okay extraction data scope is also completed now the next step is present validation station so just i will update present validation station so let me take this i will update this document path and the document text form i mean document object model taxonomy so automatic extraction results nothing but as from here you can pick so extraction results this is done and i need to update this validation extraction output so validated extraction results so this is done so after that i need to extract for that purpose i will take export extraction results export extraction results okay let me enable this and this is extraction results is nothing but as the validation extraction results and output i will make it as data set data set 
okay and after that i will just keep one message box just for checking purpose so let me check okay now all the steps has been completed now i disable these first two activities so let me disable and i'm running this part So let me continue and I will put the okay document digitization having some issue. So digitization input document not found. So let me close this file. So it is in open status now. So let me try retry. Okay, still having some issue. Okay, I know uh, I mean I got what's the issue. So let me go to this variable panel. So here I created the document type but not given the path. So I need to take this path. So as of now, I will give the invoice one. So I have been at that. Now I'm running this. I will just keep uh, one breakpoint uh, extraction results. I'm relearning this bot again and we'll see how it will works. Okay. Extraction underscore having the issue. Okay, maybe this is on having the issue. So just I created the image one one more time. So apart from I not did anything, and I'm running this bot. So we'll see whether it's able to run or not. And after that, I just relaunch this UI path. So I'm just checking right now. So data has been extracted and I want to see this data. Okay, data has been extracted. This is fine. Okay, just I will click on the submit, continue and save. Okay, so this is fine. I will just keep debug point here and I want to see the data, how it looks like. So based on that, after that, I need to update this data into the Excel file. So that's why I'm just checking the. So let me click on it, submit, continue and save. Okay. So here data set dot tables of zero. It's having invoice number, invoice date. Okay, these details are available of one. So it's having these details. This is fine. Invoice two. So in this in uh, sorry, in the data table two. So we have the quantity description total price. Okay, so we see here quantity is 15, 15, 15 and this is a description and we can see the amount so now we need to fetch this data okay i'm stopping this bot now this data update into the excel file so for that i'm taking the right right workbook so let me take this and i need to update this path here so this is the path and they are updating the temporary sheet sheet one and i updated its data table data sets dot tables of two so previous we checked we have the data in data table two okay so now i just run only for the one case running this part only for the one case and we'll see if it is working fine then i will put everything into the loop so we need to check so first of all it will start and it will go to the validation station and i need to check data is able to fetch or not so here data able to fetch this is fine so now i will try to update the data in the excel file so the part execution has been completed now i am going to the output so this is my file so let me open so if you see here it's not fetched all the data and it's saying that quantity uh, I mean 1515 like this it's came the data so now what I will do now just I will close this uh, one excel file I'm back to the UI path studio and whatever the previous I used this uh, keyword based classifier uh, sorry not this one so I used to get form extractor so instead of this form extractor I will use one more extractor so I will let you know the extractor name so here is an mission learning extractor so let me delete form extractor and i will update here mission learning extractor okay let me drag and drag 
So once you drag and drop, all the details will update automatically. If it is not updated, then we need to take from there. So let me let me take from here. So this is my endpoint and this is my API key. Okay, this is from done. So after that, just I need to go to this config extractor. So this is our image. So just click on this settings and click on that get uh, capabilities. So once, okay, it's having some issue. Let me remove this um, one. Okay, let me go to config extractor one more time. Okay, an error is serving login to this. Okay. So this error is happens due to this one. So let me change this to form extractor to another one. So this is the one. Okay, we need to take this. And go to this config extractor, enable this one and click on the settings option, get capabilities. So it will give all the capabilities. And now this is the invoice number. So for that invoice number, I need to open the document. So this is my invoice number. So it's having invoice number. So I need to check the invoice number and invoice date. So invoice date. So I need to take from here date. Okay, after that total. So here total is nothing but normal total. And we have the table. So we need to select from here. Uh, where is this one more name is I just checking for that name. I think items. So once you click on this items, you are able to expand this. So all our table formats now. So we just it is called as items. So just select that items. Under that items, what we need to do from this. So we need quantity, description, and amount. So let me select quantity after that description and amount. So line amount. Okay, just I will click on the save option. Okay, this is done. So now what we need to do now so we need to append this data to another data table so already we have created the data table on the top side okay, we not created okay if not created i need to create this data table so let me take data table so from this i take build data table so here i will just go to here and i will create the names so one for invoice number and i will give all of the strings itself and another one is for invoice date and the final one for the invoice total let me add the invoice total so this is fine so just saving and I will create here data table as data table output. So let it be. So now we created this data table. Okay. Before I'm doing here, just I will run this part till here. So let me debug point here and running this part again. So whether I need to check our data is extracting or not. Okay. So just I will check this. Okay, again, it will went to the present validation stage. If you want, you can, uh, I mean, uh, remove that. You can uh, disable that activity and check. So now I need to check the data set. Okay, I need to data set dot tables of one. Let me check what is it. Okay, it's having that and two. So if you see now, so this is in the format of some different format. Okay. Now what we need to do now, we need to update this invoice number, invoice date and invoice uh, totals. So we need to update that. So let me stop this bot and I will update the things. Already here we created this data table, let it be. And now what we need to do now, we need to collab the two tables. So just now we check for of two now. So that is one table and uh, we need to do that. So let me take the merge merge data table okay 
So here, what is the my source? So my source is this one. So let me take this. I mean, this is a destination. Let it keep, and I will keep the destination. And my source is data set dot tables of two. Just we check now. So I have created the same thing. So after that, I need to loop it. So I am taking for each activity. I mean for each uh, row in data table. And here I will update this data table. Let me update this data table. So now what I need to do now? So I need to fetch this invoice dates something now. So I need to update. So for that I will take it as an activity. So let me take this as an activity. Under the, under this as an activity, I will do some calculations here. Let me open in advanced editor. And here I will update current go of dot item of. So I need to take this. This is for invoice number. So let me take the invoice number. Okay, in this invoice number, it will update the data from the data table. So I need to go to here again, and I will update. Data set dot tables of zero. So in that zero only now we have this invoice numbers. All details are available. Dot row of zero. Okay, and again dot item of. I need to update this one. So invoice number dot to string. Okay, this is done. Similar way, I need to do for the another two as well. Okay, let me take the another one invoice date. Let me take this here invoice date, and I need to update the value set as well. And the next one total. If you want, you can change the variables as per the requirements. So I will just uh, take my things. Let me do this as well. Okay, this is done. Now I will go to this folder path and I will delete the invoices. Let me run this bot one time. Okay, I am rerunning the bot again. So what uh, I am checking now whether data has been fetched to Excel files correctly or not. I need to check that. Okay, I'm just click on the submit option, continue and save. Okay, execution has been completed. Now I'm going to this Excel file. Okay, I'm opening. So once I open, you can see this some data is has been updated. Okay, it's coming, but something is missing. Okay, here invoice number is not came and a couple of things are not came. Let me close this and I will check what is happen here. Let me go back to your patch studio. Okay, here what I keep now. So data table of two I kept. So instead of this, I need to keep this data table output. Okay, let me update and I'm going inside here and I will make it as headers as well. Okay, rerunning the bot again. Make sure that all the things should be in aligned. So then only the bot will run end to end successfully. If something is missing, then we need to deep dive on that code and we need to check. So where the error occurred. So we need to check like that. Then only we can easy to solve these cases. So let me go back to this again. And I mean opening. So now if you see this, my data has been accurate. So you can see this invoice numbers came, invoice date came, uh, total. What is the quantity and this is the descriptions and this is the total price okay we got all these details okay now i am just close this excel file and going back to the studio again so initially we commented out these two things now let it be enabled okay so here what i will you know i will take 
for each activity let me take this for each activity in this for each activity i will move all the steps here so let me select all the things So all the things I have moved into this for each activity. So here uh, what I need to do, I need to update that one small function. Uh, here I need to update. Get directory dot get files of the path. So let me take the path from here. So where it is unzipping. So it is unzipping into the download folders. Let me take and so this is the path. I updated the path. Okay, now what it will do? It will go to one by one and it will fetch the data. So here what I will do? I will take one more activity as an activity. And I will take this uh, document path. Okay, here I will update current item dot to string. So it will make it as a file name. Okay. Now let me run only till here. So I don't want to run end to end. Just I want to see how the file name is uh, appearing here. Let it run till there. So, why? Because I'm over doing like this. So, we have multiple invoices now. So, for example, if you have 10 invoices, I will take invoice 1, 2, 3, and so on. So, for that purpose, I'm checking. So, document path. It's giving that invoice 1. Okay, with the help of this function, so I'm getting that uh, file name. After that, what I will do now? So just I will take split because I don't want that TFFF. Okay, let me update here. Comma dot. So let me take dot and of zero. Okay, I got this invoice number. So the same thing I will take and this is I will update it into the sheet name. So let me stop this bot. And I will update to the sheet. Okay, once this is done, so I need to clear the data table here. So let me take this uh, data table clear. Data table. So what is having? Clear data table. So I need to update what is my data table here data table output okay it will clear the data table and it will look then so now what i will do now so just i will run all the things at once let me stop this okay and i will enable this one let me enable this as well okay i will run one case from end to end and we'll see if this is working fine then i will go for the next steps Okay, let me remove these invoices and I need to remove this as well. Okay, I removed all the things and now running this bot again. So what it will do, it will just launch that browser and just it will launch the browser and download the uh, invoices and go for the part station. And here what I will do now, so I will remove this debug breakpoints as well. And I will remove this present validation stage. So running this bot. Okay, it's open that browser. And launch the website and click on the download invoices. So it's throw the error because the file taking some time to load so just i will click on the retry so it will extract a uh, zip file and it's moving to there now we'll have to wait until uh, completed so what is here happen 
so invoice still to avoid previous error just i will take this uh, extraction results and i will update the same thing here so let me run this port again and i will make it as comment again so i need to delete uh, one more time these files here so let me delete those as well. running this bot so first it will launch the browser let me close this browsers so it will launch the browser and download the files so once it's downloaded it will extract it okay it throw the error because when it use okay it's not throwing an error okay let it be it's uh, running fine and it will do all the extractions once once everything is completed then we go to the output file and we'll check that data so whether it is extracted as per the our expectations or did we missed any something so let it run so once this part is completed then we'll go to here and update this invoice uh, number and these details will update okay so please try to like this video and post your comments and try to share within your circle so some people who are seeking knowledge on your path so they might uh, reach out this video okay after some time so bot execution has been completed now i'm moving to the output file so this is my output file i'm just opening the file and you can see this all the data has been extracted as per our requirement so you can see this invoice one data so invoice 10 2 3 and so on so all the data has been extracted successfully okay now we'll move to the next part so updating data to now the next step is first we need to read the range okay for that read excel okay let me take application scope uh, it should be the excel application scope and here i need to update this path so this is my path after this in the do activities i need to take to get sheets or something is there okay get workbook sheets and i will create the variable which we called sheets and let me create the sheets after that i will go for each activity okay here i have to the for each activity and here my variable is the sheets okay and next here a read range so i will take read range so let me take here the read range and here my sheet name so the sheet name which is okay already by default it will come the sheet name now so current item in that sheet is available so let me take current item dot two okay after this i will make it as data table excel data table after that i take the for each row for each row in the data table so let me put it here excel data table so after that i need to open this excel file so first i need to update this invoice the first i need to update this invoice number and a date and invoice after that quantity and next description and this total price so if you observe that invoice number is repeating and i mean invoice number to till invoice total is repeating okay only the quantity these and all are the units now when i back to this uh, browser so invoice date i need to update details these three things after quantity description and total it's having multiple lab i mean multiple line items 
So let me back to the CR part studio. And what I will do now, I will take one variable here, extra variable. Let me take as an activity. And I will create a counter. Okay. And just make it as one. It should be the integer. Okay, after that, I will okay. Why it's not remove this error? Error has disappeared. So now I need to take this counter instead of this for activity and I will make plus increment and counter plus one. Okay, I will take one if condition here. If we do update, if temp counter is equal to one, then I need to update these things values. So let me go inside and I need to take click activity so i have sorry not click activity here it's a typing to activity so i need three type into activity so let it be and i will need to indicate the string first here i need to update this invoice number okay the invoice number is available on this zero and i will check the invoice date okay invoice total all are one by one are there so now i will take here current okay i need to check what is i given current row or what i given so current row current row of zero dot two string and here current row of one and i need to indicate on the screen this is for invoice date and finally i need to update this another one so this is for two and the value for the invoice total okay this is done after this so i don't want to go the else part so directly i need to come here and i will take here type into activity indicate on the screen i need to update this quantity okay let me check where is the quantity so the quantity is on the column four of 0 dot to string so and this is for indicate on screen and this is for the description so it will just update the description it is available on the column 4 and this is a final one total price this is on the column 6 okay all the data has been updated so once this data is updated then i need to click on the i mean extra add item is done so i need to take the click activity so i need to indicate add items so once i click on this add item so it will increment the counter now what i will do so let me check what is the variable selector is available here Okay, let me highlight. So this is highlighting the one. Okay, let me update this is for two. Just I'm checking. It's highlighting for the two. Okay, fine. So now I will tune this selector. I will take control plus key and already we declared a temp counter. Just I will pass this temp counter here. Okay, let me do for other as well. So here the temp counter. And this is pretty final one. Let me take this as the temp counter again. This is done. So what it will do now, it will just update the data and after that click on this extra line item. I mean this extra add item and it will keep on move. So once all is done, then I need to click on the choose file. 
so this should be outside of this for loop so i'm taking one more click activity indicating the screen and choose the file here so once this is done i need to see how it's uh, appear the visible window okay here i need to update the file so the file name already we have the here the file path i will do one more activity so let me copy this and i will update here so here the value till f is there so i need to update at column g1 so g1 i will make it as file name or will be file path okay again okay, what is happening here okay this is right range now so i will take right cell activity right cell i will update all the things inside here and this is the sheet name and this is the data updating the value in g1 okay now i will take the same activity downside and updating file path name into g2 so let me pass it here current item or to stream okay this data all the data will are available there now Mm. so we are uploading the file is enough let it come back so i need to read that uh, cell value so i'm taking read cell i need to update the everything here and this is my sheet name and reading the value from g2 so this is standard so that's why i'm making like this okay whatever the data is available entire i'm storing into the one result i will make it as file okay this is done once i click on the choose button so it will open like this I need to take the type into activity. Let me indicate here. So updating the file part. Okay, why is this error happened? value okay this is an error got result once this is done after i need to click click on open okay after that click on the s and submit the button so let me take this click activity again one more time click on the yes and one more click at t again click on the submit okay now this is done so we need to run from end to end so let me run end to end and we need to see if it throws any error or not running the bot end to end so i will make one debug i mean one breakpoint because uh, I need to check that data is updated uh, for the file parts. Let me okay, let it download the files and complete all. Okay, now I will put the breakpoint here. So this is happened. If you give some delay, it will work, no issues. Just I'm clicking on the retry option. And we need to wait uh, until to came the Excel application scope. came here now i will go back to that excel file and check so whether it's updated the file okay now you can see here file parts also has been updated so for each and every invoice then let me close this 
I'm just continuing this one and we'll see uh, how it uh, works. So it's updated that invoice a total quantity. OK, I forget to restart that. So let it be no problem. It's working fine. OK, after it choose for the file one. OK, it's not uh, typing the data. OK, maybe it throw the error. OK, it's throw the error. So read cell, it's not able to read. OK, I open this file now, so that's why it's not able to read that. So let me retry that. OK, it's updating the path as well. And open, submit. So it's having one external. This is came. Where is this? So just we observed that now. We created one reset list one more time. So that's why it came uh, successfully 12 out of 13. So this is the way how we can do the extraction and uploading the data into the this website. Please try from your end and if you got any errors or if you have any issues with this, doing this uh, RPO Challenge 17, so please post a comment on the comment section. We'll try to help you. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload.